So for six weeks, we've been having this massive global treasure hunt, and we've been seeing guesses all over the world. And we just announced that someone has won, but no one knows who it is. <laughs> no one knows where it is. And we're going right now to inform two boys that they were the two that cracked it, that put it together. Right now, they don't even know that they won. Hi. Hi. Are Jack and Grayson here? Yes. Are you Jack? Yes. Grayson, can we see you? Grayson and Jack, you guys have found the globe of Magellan. Really? So we're Team Engler, and we are so excited that we just won Brain Chase. This little guy guessed the right place on the globe. This is the map that we brought together in like the fifth week. It's like our clue wall. The clues were so intricate and interesting, and they led us to research things that we would have never looked up otherwise. One night I stayed up till probably two in the morning watching all of the videos back to back, writing down all the clues again one more time just to make sure that if we'd missed something, we got it. You know, and I woke up the next morning with Christina, I was like, yeah, I have no idea where it is. <laughs> but then that night we all got together and we started working on it. We were convinced it's in New Zealand. And then we were convinced it's the antipode. It means opposite. Split the distance by 70, 30, to view the spot where the third island rises. But look closely, not all isles float in the blue. That made us think that it was an island on land. After reading this clue, I was like, oh, this is it. One of the antipodes to the area we were searching was near the border of Spain and France. The clues were so layered throughout the videos that there's even a whole layer of the puzzle that we hadn't solved. Today, we figured out what this layer and what this riddle was that was gonna point to the location of the treasure. The letters that we would find throughout each video, separated by colons, were so baffling to us. We couldn't figure out what they were. And we even went so far, Grayson decoded each one and we've come to find that these letters were very important timestamp in each video that gave us the word that we needed to add to create the riddle to solve the location of Magellan's globe. Between crescent moon at midnight's hour and tiny boots watery laces, a third island surfaces hiding a flower, 70 steps and 30 paces. The Globe of Magellan is right here in Libya. It, it was originally Grayson's guess, but we all worked as a team to do it together. Do you guys normally work really well together as brothers? Yes. No. <laughs> Grayson has been enamored with this globe the entire time, and so they decided that Grayson would get the globe and Jack would get the scholarship. I just really want the globe. <laughs> I'm getting the better part. Now we've got this amazing adventure to go dig up this treasure in Libya, Spain. Uh, we've got to go get passports this week. Uh, we'll jump on a plane next week. It'll be the first trip for the boys overseas. Um, they're going to see Spain and France and different parts of uh, Europe, and I'm super excited to spend that week with my family. It's surreal. can't even believe it's happening. 